For the past 20 years, I've been gaming with something that looks like this. This, and sometimes these. But today I took it a step further. Street Fighter VI launches tomorrow, and this is probably the first fighting game I'm going to take seriously. And what better way to temporarily handicap myself than play with an input method that I have next to no prior experience with, the arcade stick. Yes, for the launch of a brand new fighting game, I decided to use something I have never used outside of a handful of arcades. I didn't grow up in that era. Arcades were dying in favor of home consoles, and by the time I did go to arcades, they were more of nostalgia centers. So what I have here is the Mad Cat's Ego, which from what I hear is a pretty solid stick. Uh, very modular and very sturdy. I didn't want to grab the cheapest options out there, nor did I want to grab the most expensive, which were up to $400-$500. Um, so I settled for a middle ground option at $160, and first impressions, this thing is really nice. The buttons are clicky, there's a lot of space for your hands to rest, and it's got a great amount of weight to it. The stick itself is a little short for me, but that can just be swapped out. And, whoa, this is my first time gripping an arcade stick without clenching the ball like this. So, I hopped into a few games of the Street Fighter VI demo and decided... The versus AI is a cheese. Okay, so here I am again playing with a pad, and I swear all this bitch does is read inputs. Okay, I'm playing some Alpha 2, and I'm sort of understanding it now. I know where all the buttons are and what they do, it's just a matter of linking them together that's really throwing me off. Uh, one thing I noticed when playing compared to pad is I'm much less confident and much less aggressive on stick. Uh, I have a pretty aggressive rushdown playstyle and when using stick I just wasn't confident in being able to rush in and actually have it pay off. So I stood back and blocked half the games like Boogie2988. And here I am a few hours later playing some online matches with Street Fighter V. Okay. Uh, I had done the arcade mode earlier to get used to the controller and it actually helped out a lot. Now, I had barely played Street Fighter V online, so a lot of the players I was facing were lower rank, which was actually nice because they weren't input reading assholes, and they also weren't punching bags. And as you look here as I fight this Akuma, um, I'm a lot more aggressive than I was earlier against that Luke or that Ryu in Street Fighter VI. I'm a little bit more comfortable with uh, Sakura in Street Fighter V. And at this point, I had been playing for probably maybe an hour with the stick, so I have gotten used to doing most of the moves um, and finding out where all the buttons are. So I actually picked up a few wins here, uh, and this is when it started getting fun. I mean, it, it became very rewarding to start actually being able to pull Round stuff two. off. Um, one problem was I, I got so good at putting in uh, DP, input, which is uh, basically is forward, nice. quarter, circle, forward, um, then I kept messing up uh, fireball, which is just quarter, circle, forward. So <laughs> I really need to kind of plan out my attacks better, but I did not do that right. I'll leave this to play. This is going to be Street Fighter V game.
You win. Yeah, the load times in this are really long. I'm sitting here for 10 or so minutes every time. These load times are terrible. This is this is why Street Fighter 6 is automatically better because it has no loading times whatsoever. Vega, okay. I don't think I fought a Vega today. Round one. Fight! Oh, cool. Thank you, Street Fighter V. Casual match. I don't know if he laughed or if the game lagged, but <clears throat> we gotta sit through another ten minute loading screen. Oh, Blanca. I am not good at fighting him. That went pretty well. Okay. I don't know what he was. He's trying to spam his damn electricity moves, but. Wake up, DP. That's it for sure. Yeah, I did not mean to do uh, EXDP there. <laughs> I meant to do uh, Fireball. Final round. Fight. Oh, that got only in air. I don't know why he kept spamming his his ground electricity move, but uh, that was very easy to read. Your match record Ed. Sakura is 20 wins and 11 losses. I think I've 
sat through this ad for Street Fighter VI longer than I have actually played the game. Capcom, do not put live fucking ads in your games ever again. That's fucking stupid. That's ridiculous. Don't do it again. I don't want to see it, especially when it's not Street Fighter. I guess you get a pass through because that's the new game, but don't do it again with random crap. Round one. Fight. Right, this guy likes to take to the air a lot. Oh, that was a missing bit. Good job. He's in the air a lot and he was doing a lot of different shit. Oh man. Down to the wire. Round two. Fight. Oh, what the fuck? That was actually a miss input. I was trying to straight dash. So, what are my final thoughts on stick versus pad? Well, because of how much motion you have with the stick compared to a D-pad, I find performing special moves like DP and Fireball end up a lot more consistent since you're not rubbing your thumb at that weird angle. One thing I did notice was a lot of miss inputs, like this one here when doing quarter circles. They just let me do jumping mid-combo because I pushed the stick too far up. So I'll need to work on that. With the face buttons, my right thumb's muscle memory makes it much easier to know which buttons to press at which time, so it is a little jarring to have all five of my fingers at my disposal pressing each button. Another advantage to the pad was how small it was. I mean, this thing fits in my damn pocket, so it's easy to sit in whatever position you want, lean back. The stick, however, it's got a lot of weight to it, so I had to have it either on my lap, which limited what positions I could sit in comfortably, or on my desk, which left my elbows hovering in the air. Either way, once I started getting a hang of the stick, I found it a lot of fun. It's very satisfying compared to the pad, um, and I know I'll probably be using it for most of my fighting games going forward, but uh, who knows? <laughs> who knows what challenges I could end up going forward in the future. Thanks for watching the video. If you guys enjoyed it, please give it a share and a like. My last video did very well, so thank you all so much for that. If you're not subscribed, please consider doing so. It really helps out the channel, and I also really appreciate it. Only 1.7 of you watching this video are subscribed, so if you're not hitting that button, go ahead and hit it now. Stay tuned for more Street Fighter launch content. Peace.